Hey guys, a Shadowbox here, and I would just like to announce the start of my Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Let's Play. I decided to advance with Skyrim and to discontinue Oblivion because I'm much more comfortable with Skyrim that, and that will allow me to create a character, and uh, you're seeing the creation of my character, uh, Horus, now. Now, uh, what can I tell you about Horus? Well, Horus is a young Imperial Knight who firmly believes that the Empire must stay united against all threats. So his first loyalty, well, his second loyalty rather, is to the Empire. His first loyalty is to the Divines. Uh, he is a member of the Order of the Eight, based out of the Imperial City in Cyrodiil. Uh, he was unfortunately encouraged by his order to take a trip to uh, find himself because he made the mistake of expressing interest in manipulating Daedra out of their artifacts, their useful artifacts, uh, which is kind of a big no-no for knights, especially knights of the Order of the Eight. You see, knights of the Order of the Eight are forbidden from using any Daedra artifacts or even using any magical artifacts that have uh, roots based in evil magic. So you can see why that would have been a problem for him. But that's not really enough for Horus. You see, he's very ambitious. He wants to be the best at everything, and Daedric artifacts might give him a leg up on his peers, so maybe that's something he needs to work on. Um, but he is still very ambitious, and he's always looked up to the head of the Order, uh, Lord Abjorn Bluebeard, who is actually a Nord who founded the Order after moving to Cyrodiil from Skyrim. Before Horus left for Skyrim on his journey, he visited the Dragonfire at the Temple of the One for inspiration and to confide in the Order's advisor, Brother Maynard. Brother Maynard encouraged Horus to stay true to the Order's code of chivalry and blessed his sword as encouragement. And soon after that, Horus packed his bags and took off for Skyrim. And we will pick up on Horus's story, where he has made camp outside of Helgen after crossing the border. I decided to play a knight as defined by Tim Furrow on the Skyrim forums. Tim Furrow says of the knight, When the strong are not held accountable, the weak suffer the consequences. Knights represent the noblest of warriors who stand up against the sort of behavior and offer up their strength to stop those who abuse martial prowess. Clad in shining armor, wielding razor-sharp blades, and mounted atop mighty steeds, knights selflessly serve the realm and swear oaths of fealty to uphold the ideals of society and serve their patron with unswerving loyalty. Let all monsters, outlaws, and evildoers beware, for if they cross paths with a knight of honor, they will not survive for long. There will be a link to Tim Furrow's character guide for a knight down in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and please stay tuned for episode one.